Hello there, welcome to part four. I'm Mike, aka The Cloud Coach. In this part, we are gonna be creating a route table, a network ACL, and a security group. Now, as you can see here on screen, we've got our two resources that we created yesterday, uh, our AWS Internet Gateway and our AWS Subnet. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a route table. So AWS route table. Okay, guess what we're gonna call this? <laughs> actually gonna call it default. We're gonna need our VPC ID again, and we actually know the drill on that one, right? We just pull in the ID in that way. Now we're gonna create a block, right? A configuration block inside of the resource. You can see it's got uh, curly braces here, and it's similar to what we did up here with tags, but if you see, tags has an equal sign. So this is creating effectively a map Okay, this is creating a hash or a, or, or a map within Terraform, whereas this is actually a block. This is like a, a configuration block, and you can have multiple of these inside of a resource. Okay, and what we're going to put in here is the CIDR uh, block that we want the route to be associated with, and in this case, it's every IP that isn't the subnet's own IP. And then we also need to tell it, where do we want to go? Okay, so we want to tell it to go to an internet, a gateway ID in this case, and that's going to be our AWS internet gateway, okay, dot main, dot ID. Okay, so we're going to be sending it here. So any traffic that goes anywhere other than the subnet, go here. Now, for those of you that are familiar with AWS, you're probably thinking, what about anything that goes to the subnet? Don't we need a route in here? No, you don't. Terraform will create that for you automatically and it has to be there. So that's managed That's managed behind the scenes for you. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, so that's enough, right, for the route table. Well, the eagle eye viewer will note that how does this route table get on the subnet? Okay, in order for that to happen, we need a secondary resource known as an AWS route table association. Okay, so we can associate the route table to the subnet. Uh, we're just going to call this main. Okay, and we need two things. We need the subnet ID. Okay, AWS subnet dot main. Oops, subnet dot main dot ID. Uh, and we need the uh, the route table ID. So route table ID. It was AWS route underscore table. Okay. It's called default, not main this time, just to, just to trip you up a little bit. Uh, and so we're now gonna get a route table and we're gonna associate that route table to the subnet. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be naughty, I'm gonna go straight to an apply. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because, because we're only experimenting around, we don't really need to plan. Okay, we don't need to plan every time. It's an extra step. We're not producing an we're not producing a plan file. So instead, we're just going to go ahead and do an apply. And in this case, it's two to add, zero to change, and zero to destroy. Right. So we've got here route table default. We've got our route. We've got our gateway. We've got our VPC ID. Do we want to do that? Yes, we do. So again, Terraform's going to go and refresh its state. It's going to talk to the AWS API and then it's gonna create those things for us and insert them into the local state file. All right, we need two more resources. So we need a network ACL at this point, right? Okay, and we're just gonna call this allow all. We're gonna create a couple of blocks here, internal configuration blocks. Remember when I was saying earlier, if it has an equal sign, it's a map, but in this case, it's like a, it's a configuration block within the resource itself. That's what we're gonna be creating here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and type this out and then fast forward. Okay, so we've got our AWS network ACL called allow all. Well, it's called allow all from a Terraform perspective. It's got an egress and it's got an ingress, so outbound and inbound. And we're basically saying we're allowing all protocols, so TCP, UDP, ICMP, uh, these rule numbers just where it is in the stack, we're allowing it, we're allowing all IP addresses from all port ranges. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a security group uh, and I'm gonna fast forward again um, you don't want to stand sit here watching me type out these things, so I'm going to do it very quickly and then I'll just explain it. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created that AWS security group. It's called Allow All again from a Terraform perspective. The actual name is going to be TCP, uh, sorry TCC Terraform Crash Course Allow All. Uh, we've got our VPC ID in there. We're only going to allow inbound SSH, so we're just going to SSH to the box, but we're going to allow all outbound as well, which is which is also acceptable. So let's go ahead and save, 
and then let's go ahead and apply. So as we can see, what it actually wants to do is create our NACL, our network ACL, and our security group. Two things to add, nothing to change, nothing to destroy. Let's go ahead and do that. So I think you know what it's going to do at this point. So let's talk about the next episode, the next part that we're going to do, part five. We're going to implement an Elastic IP, an SSH key, and we're going to dynamically fetch an AMI for our EC2 instance.